how is everyone? So welcome back to my channel and uh, I'm just sitting here waiting for my uh, delivery to arrive. Obviously I did a, a food shop online so just waiting for that and then I, I can uh, make a start with my day. So guys, you know, my shopping should be arriving soon. It's uh, 9.22, so it's coming between 10 and 12. Uh, but they did text me to say that it's on its way, so hopefully I'm one of the first. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna just stick some washing on as well because obviously I'm running out of clothes. Sorry for walking around with the camera, I know you guys don't like that. Um, uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do that, put some washing on, get that sorted and uh, wait for the shopping and then I can finally have something to eat. I'm waiting to have breakfast. I'm absolutely hungry. Obviously the last couple of days I haven't really been hungry, you know, but I think I'm starting to get my appetite back now, which is good. And you know what? This Converse t-shirt actually fits me now. So I'm very happy with that that it finally fits. It's weird because certain materials fit and cert certain materials don't, even though they are the same size. So anyway, I'm gonna go now and uh, stick some washing on. So I'll see you all in a bit. See you soon. So guys, I've literally, I've done all the washing in one go because I like to use these color catchers and uh, I prefer to use those because you can just do your washing in one load. So oh, I filled up like, more than half of the machine, which is, which is pretty good, obviously, because the drum I've got is quite a big drum. It's a 9kg machine, so it's fairly bigger than the normal ones. Anyway, these are the caddy cutters. There they are. I got them from Wilkinson's. 24 sheets cost me £1.50, I think. So, very good. Especially if you don't have enough of all the same colours. So, you put that in and it stops the colours from running. I think that's what it's designed for. Well, it's getting a bit warm now, so I think I'm going to turn off the heating. Because of the one I got up this morning, uh, it was uh, awfully cold, so just turn that off. And uh, the thing is, my radiator in the in the in the front room is not working. Um, it's on number five. It's the only one in, in the flat that's not working. Maybe it needs bleeding again. But when the gas man came round to install the boiler, all the radiators worked. So it's just very strange that that one's still not working. That's all right. I'll, uh, I'll sort that out soon. I've got some uh, washing to put away that I left here. So I've got my tea towels all being washed and dried. I have to empty that to put the new lot of washing on. So I mean, I'm just, you know, I am just taking it easy, easy and slow. And uh, I am gonna talk about some of uh, the comments that I have been getting f from uh, some really horrible people, but I'll speak about that after I've put the washing away. So guys, um, getting back to that, uh, some people were saying, uh, that um, that I uh, I'm overreacting. Um, obviously, they're trying. Basically, what they're trying to say is, I'm putting it on that I'm in pain and all this, which I'm not putting it on. The doctor said, you know, the first you know four to five days is going to be bad, and then after that it should start healing. So, I mean, I was what Monday I had it. So Tuesday I was discharged, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so it's only been three days, so obviously I'm still going to be in pain, but but that's uh, that's the trolls for you, innit guys, really, you know, just nasty people and got nothing else better to do than uh, just get mouthy over a keyboard, so uh, that's what I say to them, um, wait until you have it, wait until you need to have keyhole surgery for gallbladder removal, I mean, you know, like um, one of my subscribers said to me, she said, um, you know, it, you know, it is, you know, kind of a big operation, you know, it's just, you know, say what you want, because like I said, you come in, won't get approved, it's obviously, it's been deleted now, so uh, that's up to you if you want to keep on doing that, but, you know, 
I'll be on the men soon, so yeah, I just wanted to say that. That's why a lot of the comments have not been approved because obviously it's just constantly backlash of nasty comments. So the last few videos, the comments haven't been approved, and I'm not even going to be going on to onto the video to have a look at the comments because I don't need to be seeing those kind of messages from people, you know, when I'm trying to recover. So. Fortunately, it's some of you guys that do leave nice comments, you know, I just want to say thank you and uh, obviously you guys know who you are, you know, who are leaving the comments and, you know, like I said, I just want to say thank you, you know, for your support and it means a lot. So, uh, thanks again, guys. And uh, just waiting for the shopping arrive, it should be here soon. Um, Obviously the washing's nearly done already, it's got like 18 minutes left, that's what I like about this machine. You can do a wash in 28 minutes, which is not bad at all. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to, <coughs> to clear that up with you guys. So, you know, if I haven't read your comment, or approved it, or replied, obviously that is, that is the reason uh, you haven't been blocked. Uh, I put comments on approval because obviously all the nastiness and I don't really want that kind of hate on my channel So that is part of the reason So I mean I've had some people message me. Oh, why have you blocked me? I haven't blocked you um, Obviously it's pure down to all comments have to be approved by me first and if I'm gonna get hate comments on They're not gonna get approved are they so I just, I don't look at the comments, I just, once the video is on, the video is on, that's it, um, I mean, I will eventually, once, you know, once I get sorted, I will get round to them, but if I don't, you haven't been blocked, I haven't blocked anybody, I don't block people, so, just to clear that up, because I've had, you know, a few people send me messages on Instagram and Facebook, so I wanted to get that out to you guys, you know, I will never ever block people. I don't block people. I just uh, I just stop the comments from coming through. So um, that's about it, really. So I'm gonna go now and uh, um, sort sort the bedroom out and uh, have some water. I'll take some tablets as well because I haven't took any today. And it's uh, it's quite bad this morning. The pain. So I mean, it may not look like I'm in pain, but um. I don't like to show my pain, so that's how I am. But so I'll see you very soon when the delivery arrives, guys. So see you in a bit. There you go, guys. Look at that. Just nine minutes left, and the washing is done. Love it. Absolutely love it. Nice, quick, and easy. Right. So let's fill up the the filter a bit more. So I've got some fresh water in the fridge. Guys, washing's done. Uh, in the middle of a mission on GTA as well, you know, a bit of multitasking. Um, obviously, it's gone 10 o'clock, so shopping is due any time as well. So, let's get the washing out then. It's only uh, socks, boxer shorts, and a couple of uh, Manchester United tops. Obviously, because people say I don't wash my clothes, but I do. Alright, so let's get down here and get it all out. What I'm thinking of doing actually guys is actually putting the socks over the radiator because obviously socks are important. I've got loads of underwear so looks like uh, my boxer shorts got stained during the operation. It's got all red bits on it. Which I'm not too fussed to be quite honest. Not fussed at all about that. So guys, the washing's all done. I took it all out and, I, and now I've got to go and put it on the clothes rack and on the radiators. There we go, look, I've got a grey top there. I've got another main light top there. Let's have a look. And then another two Manchester United tops. Got my shirt. So the proof is there, you know, that I do have more than just the same one. Because people say I wear the same one all the time. Got my underwear here, got my socks there as well. It's quite a lot of washing today. 
So guys, I've got my shorts and my socks and my pants on the clothes rack. Well, not pants, boxer shorts. Then obviously I've stuck all my uh, tops up there so they can dry quicker. So I've got my shirt, my night top, obviously a couple of my night tops as well. Just waiting for GTA to finish. I just literally just finished a mission. I did this mission on my own, no help whatsoever. So just waiting to get paid for that. Look at my GTA money. Not bad. Just over two mil, I think. So very really good. Some socks on the radiators as well. On one radiator. Some more on the radiator here. The radiator is on as well, so it should be a lot of loo on there. Really. And there's some more on there as well. Got some towels on the doors. And that's it, washing all done now. The only dirty clothes that there is, and that's what I'm wearing. So guys, my other parcel has arrived now, so I'm gonna open it, I know what it is. It's actually for my tripod, so, uh, I mean, I've already opened it, but I'm gonna show you what it is anyway. Hopefully it fits the tripod, but if not, I've already got one anyway. So, when I got home, I'd already ordered it, and then, when I checked, I'd already had one, didn't realise, so, but it's better to have two than one. So here we go, it's in here. That's what it is, guys. It basically, it just clips on to, look, you've got your holes there. Let me open it anyway. So, basically the phone goes in the grips here, but look. You can screw it from the top, so it go on like that. Or on the back, you can screw it on like that. I don't think it'd work like that, but I think it'd be better to go on like that. Let's have a try. Guys, there's a little adjustment that I've ordered and it's coming, only 3 99 I think it's better than this one. I don't really like this one, to be honest. It looks tatty and cheap. But this one looks pretty cool, so let's test it out. Guys, shopping's arrived, so now I've got to put that away. Obviously, I can't lift too much, so I'm gonna have to just do a bit at a time. Now that was heavy, I should not have carried that, but they're not allowed, I don't think they're allowed in your house to bring it through, so. I think uh, health and safety reasons, I believe. So it's just gonna take me a while just to in and out. No, let me just carry a few. Because... Here we go. Last one. There we go. So let's unpack this shopping and show you what I've got. Guys, this is my Arsene's shopping haul delivery, obviously, because I can't get out. Um, so. A few of the vlogs are going to be indoors for now until, you know, until I start to get better. Obviously, I had to do a delivery. I don't normally do a delivery online. Obviously, I normally go in store and do it and do it myself. But this is my shopping order. Now, for me, this is a big shop. This is a big one for me because normally when I go shopping, I only spend about a tenner. So this, you know, all of this is quite a bit for me so right let's go through it so here we got some uh we got some pepsi max obviously 24 cans i think was well worth it miller lights i'm still counting them as uh zero sins but obviously i know they are once in a pot but i i'm not calculating that because it's never affected my weight loss so why should it after three years we got sugar free uh 0% Activia peach yogurts as well. We've got some strawberries, some bananas, some skimmed uh, milk as well. We've got some 30% less fat British cheese. Um, what we've got here, we've got some mushrooms, they're upside down. What else we got? We've got some British white potatoes. We've got some eggs. I've always wanted to try these uh, hot dog sausages. So I wanted to try these, they're the hot dog ones. Um, Obviously, this is a new one out for the Slimming World Arsenal range. It's Chicken Belty. I've never had it before, so I like the sound of it. 
and I like to try the new Iceland meals as well. And it's look, it's only one of those, so that is not too bad. What else have we got here? We got some uh, buckle foil non-stick. Now the reason I've got two is my mum wanted one. Uh, and obviously when I was doing the order I was on the phone to her and I told her it's a 10 metre plus 2 extra metres free so it's a 12 metre only £2 guys that is a non-stick as well and I think that's quite decent foil so obviously you've got one for my mum and one for me got some black sacks obviously I've got some strawberry jam because I like to have jam on toast don't we all um, obviously 400 gram loaf of bread as well home meal so that's a healthy B option Skips crisps as well. Obviously, I've got to have my sins. Now, I thought this was brilliant. Look at the size of this. The Mega Pack Fairy. Now, this was only two quid, believe it or not. Now, the 500 milliliter one is... I think I think that was a pound. I can't even remember. Anyway, I thought that was a good deal. Obviously, I need some uh, kitchen roll. Can't be dealing without any. Hold on. I think I've got one Slimming World meal missing. Let me just quickly double check the bags. I, I swear I ordered two curries. Bear with me. There we go, guys. I thought I ordered a ticket. It was in one of the bags over there. I didn't realise. So, obviously, I do like a ticket, as you guys do know. But, obviously, I like my curries as well. And look, so that's two red chillies. So, that won't be as hot as this one. So, we'll say this one won't be as hot as that one. So, and that is my Ashland Big Shop food haul because, you know, I normally spend a tenner and this was quite a lot of money. I mean, it doesn't look a lot, does it? Believe it or not, all of this come to, was it, over £35, something like that, just under 40 quid. So, you know... That's it guys, so I'm going to quickly go and pack the, especially the frozen food away and I'll catch you very soon because I've got to do breakfast. Right guys, obviously because it's half past 11 and obviously uh, the food shopping's only just arrived, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have a yoghurt and some fruit for breakfast. Obviously because I'm going to be having my uh, my hot meal uh, at lunch time, so I'll probably have lunch about, I don't know, 1, 2, I mean obviously I'm used to having lunch at half 12 but... Um, I'm going to have it about 1 o'clock, I think, 1, 2 o'clock. I have my hot meal, so I'm probably going to have the chicken belty with some rice, maybe. And um, then, obviously, I'm going to start having cold food in the evening for dinner because, obviously, that's the way, you know, the, the hospital and the surgeon told me to do it. So I think I'll, that's what I'm going to start doing. So, basically, I'm having my dinner at lunchtime and I'm having my lunch at dinner time. so... I think that's the way I'm going to start doing things now. Uh, I'm just going to have a cup of coffee. So obviously, finally, I've got some milk. Obviously, I'll have to measure that out. Obviously, because I am on Slimming World. I'm officially back on it now, uh, as of today. So just going to have a cup of coffee, measure out the milk. And uh, I think I'll have a banana, some fruit, and a yogurt. I might have a peach yogurt, actually. So they just arrived, so that's handy. I'll have the bag of fruit that from last night, I'll have that as well. Uh, get the milk out. The later one, I'll probably just have a sandwich or something, you know? Like a cheese sandwich, so just do that. So let's get a banana. There we go. So that's probably going to be breakfast, obviously it's a late breakfast, but I normally have my uh, late morning snack around about now, so, but have a bit of Kenko coffee as well guys, like Kenko, decaffeinated as well, just going to have that as well. Well right, guys, so just going to do a bit of coffee. Bear with me. I just realised the coffee's not been opened before. So just going to quickly open that. And then we'll be on our way. Bit of Kenko. That's about that much. That should do.
And then I'll just pour a bit of milk in there. I'll tell you what, I'm loving the new, uh, the tripod, uh, well, I like the new tripod and obviously the new attachment that comes today. I'm enjoying that as well. There we go. And there that is, give that a little good old stir. Oh, it's a bit strong, I don't, don't normally have it that strong, but that will do. So I'm gonna enjoy that with obviously the rest of my water. Got a yogurt, got apple and grapes and a banana. So that is today's breakfast, guys. So guys, um, obviously that wasn't really a big breakfast, was it? So it didn't do much. So uh, I'm just gonna go and uh, start my, obviously, well, I say lunch, well, it's, I'm having my dinner for lunch. So doing it that way around. So I was gonna have a curry, but I'm not sure what to do now. Um, I'm not sure at all what to have. Um, I don't know, cause like I mean, I was gonna do like for dinner. I was gonna, I was gonna have a uh, a sandwich later. So no point me having that now. So yeah, I'm gonna go and do a curry. That's what I'm gonna do. A chicken belty. Alright, guys. So I'm just gonna quickly get the rice on the go. Um, obviously. To do this, they reckon for the best results is in the microwave. So, yeah, uh, microwave for the best results. So, I'm just gonna boil the kettle for the rice. I'm gonna get that going. So, I just stabbed it so that can go in the microwave ready waiting. Here's the rice. Kettle's just boiling, so everything's coming to plan. Stick that in there. Let that boil. And then I can add the rice afterwards. Guys, as you can see, it's bubbling away, so it is ready. So let me just quickly add in the rice. That'd be enough rice for me. Right guys, so uh, my friends just popped round and uh, to change my uh, dressings for me, which I thought was really nice of him. So I've got fresh um, dressings on, so now I can get back to cooking. I've just got to give it a quick stir, bung it in for another six minutes. Then dinner's done, or should I say lunch is done. So there you go guys, just gonna give that a quick stir now. Oh, it's just gone all over it everywhere. But I tell you what, it does smell nice. Right, let's stick that back in uh, back in the microwave for another six minutes. So guys, there's my rice. Rice is all done, dished up. So hopefully that's not too long either. And then away we go. So there you go. So we got chicken bauti with plain basmati white rice. So I'm just going to quickly get the drink to go with that as well. All right, let's see what drink we got. I'm going to have a Pepsi Max. So that is dinner, uh, lunch. Well guys, that chicken bounty was actually quite nice. Um, I didn't think I was going to like it. I did. A bit similar to the Tika. Obviously the Tikas are a bit hotter. And like I said, it was nice. And obviously I can't eat no more. So uh, I'm going to put that in the bin now. Well, there's not much. It's only a bit of onion and the sauce really. So I'm going to go and have a yoghurt and a banana and uh, I'm going to chill and play a bit more GTA and until dinner later. I think I'm going to have a, a cheese sandwich later, so it be nice. So guys, my friends just popped round. Um, I asked him if he could uh, pop round the shop on the way to see me to see if he can get me some scratch cards and I said just get me two bingo ones. I, I make sure that they were the pink ones. Um, obviously on my last scratch card video, people said, I thought the blue one was the new one, but they're not, they're old. Um, I only thought they were new because I'd never seen them before. So that's why I thought they were new. Um, they must have brought them back out. 
Also, I said any Christmas ones, get me two Christmas ones. So, got me two Christmas advent calendars and two bingo doublers, but I won't be able to scratch them on this video because this video is already on 25 minutes already and I will not have the storage for that. So, it will be on a separate video to this one, so stay tuned for that, guys. Oh, yeah, I think I'll do, I think I'll do it like that. Right guys, I know I look a bit strange, I'm playing GTA Online, obviously I'm on a live chat. Um, so I'm just going to go and do dinner now. So I'm going to have a cheese sandwich with a packet of crisps and a Coke. And that is going to be my uh, my dinner. Well, obviously, I've had lunch, I swapped my meals around, ain't I? So let's get cracking with that then. Right guys, so I've got going to be using... 200, uh, not 200, uh, two slices of 400 grams of bread. There we go. So that's my healthy B option. A bit of butter, that would be sins. I mean, won't be many sins, it'd just be a bit of sins. I think it's, Uh, won't be much because I'm only using a little bit literally just like that oh, I'll just put a couple of sins for that I've had no sins today so it's all good it's all good in the hood uh, my cheese is going to be my healthy A option as well Oh, it says I need scissors to do this. I don't know where they are. So that's the cheese I'm going to be using, 30% less fat. Uh, I'll just put that in there with me. Just, I'm brushing about. And I've ruined the, the cheese packet now. Didn't want to do that. Just a bit of cheese here. Don't need a lot for this uh, for this bread because it's only a little bread. Just one more bit of cheese. Lovely jubbly. There we go. So there you go, guys. Cheese sandwich. And a bit of seventy percent less fat cheese. Uh, Salad cream. And one packet of skips. And there we go guys, that, that is dinner. Well, right, guys, so that was nice, a nice dinner out of the way. So I'm going to go and put the video together for you guys now. So that is the end of today's video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give the video a big thumbs up. And uh, I will catch you again tomorrow, guys. So see you very soon. Hope you all have a good evening. Take care. Bye.